I am so excited because we are going to start the moving series today on my channel. I am doing some apartment hunting and some apartment tours with you guys today. I've talked about this on my channel before, but I'm a little bit unsure of like for my next move, what should I do? Should I stay in Manhattan where I currently live? Or should I maybe move to another borough like Brooklyn? <laughs> I think I'm kind of ready for the move, but I'm not exactly entirely 100% sure. So I wanna check out all of my options in both places. And I'm working with an amazing real estate agent, Jonathan, who's going to show us around today. Someone just recently asked me like, what's your favorite part about the job? And I was like, it's, it's helping people find home. To watch someone like find that space that they really connect with and like just love is like very beautiful. And it's like such a big decision in people's lives. So to be a part of that is like very cool. So welcome to the first installment of this moving series. And if you guys are new to my channel, be sure to subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up. Let's get into it. So we're starting here at this building, 78 Amity, and we're in Cobble Hill, Brooklyn. This is like really neighborhoody. We're gonna meet up with Jonathan and check it out. Hello. Hey, oh, how are you? So nice to see you. So good to see you. Come on in, welcome. Oh my <laughs> gosh, this is stunning. I knew you needed to see this. The lighting in here is like boom. Oh my gosh. How insane. Wow. I know. I love it. Marble countertops. They decorated this whole thing themselves. This Upgraded is so everything. stunning. This so, is oh my gosh, imagine cooking in this kitchen. Like, hello, okay, chef. All the, like, all of the buildings the and everything. Fridge, everything. Oh, this is incredible. Perfect. I feel like this would be like the perfect hosting kitchen. I love it. Yeah. I absolutely love it. It's perfect. You have a huge dining area over there. Again, all of these views, I can't get over it. Incredible, like, yeah. It is so quiet. So what is the area like? Cobb Hill is the sweetest neighborhood. Yeah. I love walking over here from the train. Like, it is absolutely my favorite thing in the whole world. All the little townhouses, which is also nice. Like, we're on the fifth floor here. Uh -huh. So you feel like you're in a townhouse. It's mm -hmm. not super high. So you get this, like, really nice tree line level. Yep. The water, your clothes. Mm -hmm. But I still feel like we're tucked away from the city. It doesn't feel like the chaos, I guess, of, like, some areas of Manhattan. It's very Brooklyn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. You breeze right through the foyer, but you have your first bathroom in here. Half bath. Amazing. So this is a three bed, two and a half bath. Which Amazing. Perfect. Yeah. Th I mean, this is enormous. <laughs> I wanted, uh, for context, I'm looking for like at least a two bed, two bath. Yes. Yeah. I definitely want space that I can grow into. Exactly. So I'm like, is this too much space? <laughs> Listen, you can grow into it if you need. Okay. You know I mean? <laughs> yeah. You have 10 foot ceilings in here as well. So all in here, you're going to get that really elevated feel. Totally. The sunlight is incredible when it, in the afternoon these sunsets, are you kidding? Yeah, because you have that view of Manhattan too, like exactly. insane. We'll bring you back in sunset, you can see the whole thing. Great. No, it really feels like a, a home. It brings it in. So you feel a little more cozy. To this just feels like my like childhood home hallway. Exactly. I mean, it's a little bit more like white and exactly. like aesthetic. This is your first bedroom. <gasps> it's Gorgeous. Perfect. A guest room, if your parents want to come and stay, your friends, whoever. It's perfect. You have a really nice double closet in there. Shall we check her out? Yeah. So it's oh, huge. nice. Wow. Yeah, that's another thing that I'm really looking for is like a decent amount of storage space, which I know is, yeah. I know I'm asking for a yeah. lot. Yeah, we have it here. It's just so bright and it feels yeah. so happy. And it's like, it, it's pretty sunny today, but I would say it's like, there's a few clouds in the sky. Yeah. So it's a good representation. Yeah, I think like the size of these windows really allows you to get light. Mm -hmm. And you are Western facing. So, You'll, in that afternoon, yeah. you will get more direct light. A perfect size for like a home office or a bedroom or really yeah. anything. I definitely want space that I could have someone come and visit. Also, I would love um, just a second room in general yeah. for a desk or... Honestly, it's nice to have this a little bit tucked away from your primary so they're not right on top of you. Mm. So I always tell my clients, try to get your room separated. Oh, nice. It's just better. And then I know your investment thinking. So to have that, if we're going to put a family in here, roommates, whatever, they're separate. You know, Love it. The parents are down the hall. If they have kids, 
the roommates are separated if they need to be, you know? Yeah. It works out well yeah, yeah. in the future if we're thinking about that. No, that's, I mean, not that I want a family tomorrow, <laughs> but I feel like I'm thinking about a space that I can grow into longer term investment. So absolutely. these are important factors. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Coming here, you can actually use that as a room and then use this as just a second playroom. Maybe a bigger closet, mm -hmm. a beauty room, whatever you need it to be. Oh my gosh, imagine having a filming room? Or... I know, exactly. You have another huge closet in here. Double, same as in there. Love it. Again, these views are crazy. Once we're in the spring, you'll get a whole green tree situation. Gorge. It's gonna be stunning. The homeowners have impeccable taste. Everything in this apartment is like so well done. I know, I'm like, uh, can I just take it with all the furniture too, Absolutely please? Up. This uh, like heating and cooling throughout. Yeah, so every room is gonna have their own panel. That's a New York luxury too, yeah. is having like the central heat and cool. Absolutely. So oh. you'll have one, two, three, four, five zones. Wow. Because I'm so used to like the larger like um, attached to the window and you like kind of lose the view yeah, yeah, and yeah. it's like you have to do whatever the building tells you to do. Yeah. I, this is so nice. You could do whatever Not you want. Here. And then uh -huh. if you want fresh air and these windows open, they're so crazy. Wow. <gasps> oh, perfect. Okay. So we get like a good amount of... You get a ton. No, that's really nice. I definitely like getting some, especially if I'm like cleaning and stuff, I like to vent You're out. You're right on the water. Pressure. Imagine that breeze. Oh. Killed. Love it. Yeah, and we have like a nice view of like, like you said, the park. It's very... You can go play tennis. Wholesome. Yeah, yeah. Oh, like even the ferry boats and stuff yeah. in the distance. That is so cool. It's very, it's a very New York view, mm -hmm. which I love. Mm -hmm. Governor's Island, the unsung hero of New York. Yep. You get perfect straight on views of it all year. You won't lose it. The amount of views that we're getting is really impressive considering we're only on, what, the fifth floor? The fifth floor. That's incredible. Penthouse level in this building, but the fifth floor. Mm -hmm. This is gonna be your first full bathroom. Love this. It's oh enormous. my god. Oh my gosh, this is- Enormous linen Oh, a dream. Oh, yeah, insane. Deep soaking tub. You never find tubs this Yeah, in never. Room. They're always four inches. So to have something like real that you can actually sit in, uh -huh. amazing. I also love like all of their poles and their finishes. Like I mean, this is stunning. I don't want to misspeak. Is this like it's like a wow? Yeah. So we're ta this is getting rich. It's, like it's giving it's giving high end. It's giving luxury yeah, for sure. Is. I it mean, is. listen, you deserve luxury, and that's what we're gonna find you. It feels almost like, I don't want to say like a hotel because it's cozy like a home, but I feel like the finishes and like everything make it so nice and elevated. It feels absolutely like I'm on vacation. <laughs> I, I think it's like the decor as well. Just like yes. elevates the space mm -hmm. so heavily. This is your primary. This is stunning. Yeah. Wow. Perfect size. This is a king bed? Yeah. It's a king, another New York yeah. luxury. <laughs> if it's a king bed with room. Yeah. If you don't like this, you can always change it out for something else. Like. You have the option. Yeah, this natural light is just insane. I feel like it just boosts your mood. It may like it, it elevates your whole like living experience. It's, it's yeah. Well, I think like to have that, especially in Manhattan, like where you are now, sometimes this is, the windows can be so small, and I feel like uh. in Brooklyn they really continue to open up those windows. Mm -hmm. like, yeah. There's something really lovely about mm -hmm. it. I feel like I would have never noticed that. I like also that the windows like they kind of start like a little bit higher yeah. up, almost like you have a nice like little windowsill here. Yeah, it's absolutely. cute. Oh my gosh. Huge. Oh, you also a shower. Radiant floors. The heat? Yeah. That's insane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's so nice. So like when you get out of the shower, if you want like to yeah. toes to be a little Warm cozy. Oh my God, that's amazing. Yeah, love this countertop too. I think it's like a very interesting uh -huh. texture and tone. It's I love the two sinks because I'm thinking about them. living with someone yeah, and yeah. you know, I, I feel like living with a man they might get like their beard trimmings in the, in the sink or something, it's there. separate. You yeah. stay here, no problem. Perfect. <laughs> Actually, you know what? In the other bathroom. Yep, you even better. <laughs> yeah. All of this opens as well. That is something that is underrated. Like I don't have that right now and I also yeah. actually don't have drawers. And the amount of times that I like could find myself reaching for just like a place to immediately store everything that's yeah. built in that I don't have to get like a cart or something. Like it's just kept it's away, but right it there. looks it's so nice. sleek. Yeah. yeah. But I have to show you the best part. <gasps> I'm excited. This is crazy. <laughs> We're fully going 
going upstairs. Yeah. Like this is like yeah. another level. This is stunning. Insane. And enormous. I mean, talk about space. This feels like a yard. I actually love this little garden situation. Love. If you have a dog, plant a little grass. Oh yeah. You know what I mean? That's convenient versus like having to go up like and up down, and down, down all the time. Yeah. You can run around out here. Uh-huh. Yeah, we're really wrapping around. These are big pieces of furniture. It's actually really impressive also when we're inside how well insulated it is yeah. that you don't hear, you don't hear that these cars on the street. In my current place, it's noisy. It's just extremely loud. So that's why I feel like a perk of moving to somewhere like Brooklyn is that it would be yeah. a little maybe a little bit more quiet, a little bit more chill. I mean we're looking at cars and you have a car, right? Yes. This also comes comes with a parking spot. Oh my gosh, yeah. stop. And a parking spot could run you like... They can, they, right now they're selling for like up to 250,000. That's crazy. And there's a parking deck in the building. Yeah, right downstairs. The convenience. Yeah, no, it's absolutely the most convenient part. <laughs> I'm not fully ready to like leave New York City, yeah, but yeah. at the same time I want, I mean, I talk about being close, we're right there. It's not far. Yeah, I feel like having an outdoor space is also kind of makes living in New York City a little bit more suburban in a 100, way. 100. <laughs> if you're moving to Brooklyn, I think like outdoor space is something that is definitely obtainable. Mm -hmm. It's very hard in Manhattan. You really have to like, you have to play the game to get outdoor space. Is it too corny to say I could see myself <laughs> living here? <laughs> like, no. no, that's what I want to hear. Cause I have to sell this. So. <laughs> we love it. I know it's great. It's gorgeous. We'll head back downstairs. Let's talk price for a second. We've been talking rental versus buy, and I just want to give you kind of a breakdown of what this would look like versus what a rental would look like. Mm -hmm. Right now, to carry this with where mortgage rates are, where they are, with what we're asking, it probably costs you around like thirteen to 15000 depending on what you're going to put down. A month? A month. Oh my gosh. I know. Rentals, in the kind of building that we're looking in, in the kind of size that we're looking at, they're running about the same. Wow. New York City rental prices have just climb and climb and climb. Mm -hmm. And I think it's time you stop paying somebody else to live and you start paying yourself. Mm -hmm. With a rental, you can spend $15,000 a month, but it's like, where's that money going? Not to you. I always hear that whenever I tell people that commonly like live outside of New York, yeah. that they're like, oh, you're throwing away your money on rent. And I try to justify, like, if I do have the opportunity to own, maybe yeah. it's something worth seriously considering. I think right now the market is scared. People are scared because mortgage rates are a little unstable. Nobody knows what's going on in the world. Totally. Which is why I tell everyone that's the best time to make a deal. So the market is not where it's supposed to be. Mm -hmm. We're going into the spring market. We're expecting it to pick up, but are we feeling it? Not really across the board, you know? Mm -hmm. So you still have that opportunity to negotiate, get a good deal, mm -hmm. and then end up paying to yourself at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. You make money when you buy something, not when you sell it. Interesting. I definitely want to keep my options open. Yeah. And I feel like now that I want more space and I want all of these things, like I have to open up my budget a little bit. Yeah. Well, the budget is and things like that will keep so in mind, yep. but I do think it's important to just get an idea of what's on the market, what's out there, and kind of totally. where we can go from there. Great. Well, All I'm right. happy to do it. Yeah, let's keep looking at the house. Stunning. I, I <laughs> the way that they have decorated in here is... is insane. This is very much a, like my taste, I feel yeah. like. If I had a million dollars, <laughs> my taste. It's like so simple and clean. You know? uh -huh. I like the mix of the... I don't even know if we want to call it like farmhouse, but like the woody, like that sort of vibe with, mo with modern yeah. finishes. No, it's very mm -hmm. homey in here. It's like everything is CB2 vibes, West Down, like it's really, uh -huh. it's giving. I love it. It is. So in this building, not only do you have your own private roof deck, yep. they also have a public one on the other side. Oh, cool. So if that wasn't enough. Just in case. You also have a virtual doorman here. I know you might be looking for a real doorman, but virtual doorman, it can work, especially with all the packages you're getting. They can let people in. Yeah, it's just, a, it definitely is something that's important to me. I feel like security wise, yeah. it just makes me feel a little bit more comfortable totally. having someone actually there. And honestly, that to me, living in a city, I really appreciate like yeah. just the relationship with a doorman. I feel like it makes it, I spend a lot of my days alone, working from home, just doing things on my own, knowing that there's like a living, breathing human that like cares about my existence. Yeah, yeah. I'm happy to have that. That's such an interesting take. <laughs> I'm so opposite. I'm like, don't talk to me. Like, <laughs> I don't want to know. I don't want to see anyone, but I talk to people all day long. I'm like the, so I the could go a whole day. day. 
please. <laughs> totally. Yeah. For me, it just adds that level of like, okay, if they kind of know me, like yeah. maybe they won't like just let anybody slide by. But you know, sense. living in New York, nothing's guaranteed. Yeah. And so. then you have the garage downstairs right. for the car. Huge. So it really like you have a gym here. Oh, you that's have great. Everything you need. I think there is something nice about being in a smaller building, mm -hmm. being right on the water. Like mm -hmm. the lifestyle is what you're really buying into in this building. Totally. You know. Yeah. I definitely really like it too. Like yeah. I, said, I can see myself living here. It is definitely on the upper end of my totally. budget, um, slash a little out of budget. <laughs> what should we be looking for in the future? Two bed, two bath. Yeah, definitely two bed, two bath. Um, doorman. doorman. I like living in an amenity space. Okay. I do like living somewhere where, of course, we have a gym. I would love it for, to be an updated gym. Yeah. You know, something nice that this way I can kind of justify my monthly cost or my rent totally. is going towards all of these added bonuses too. I would say some sort of like outdoor space, of course, if that's like a park or like a roof deck. While I don't have a pet right now, a building that's pet friendly. And I always tell people, <laughs> if you need to get a pet into a building that doesn't have pets, if they're registered, they have to let your dog in. Like they have to let Really? Your dog in. Yeah. Oh, that's such a hack. I, it's you gotta such get a hack. That really is the loophole. Oh, that's New York. If it's a registered dog, you're good to go. Yeah, secrets revealed. Wow. All right, so I think we definitely have a good handle on this. I'm glad that you got to see this though. Yeah, and I like Brooklyn. I mean, I like yeah. this neighborhood. I would love to see some other neighborhoods in Brooklyn. I feel yeah, like they're yeah. all so different from each other. Totally. I think we should definitely look at something in Manhattan just to give you like a comparison. Mm -hmm. Make sure that you are ready to move out. You know, so it's <laughs> yeah. a big decision. I know. But I do, I'm very happy that you got to see this space. Yeah, this is beautiful. All right, so we're going to Fideye now. I want you to see this apartment. It's a two bed. They're asking a million seven fifty. It needs some work. Okay. <laughs> but I think that's an opportunity. The owner is definitely motivated. Your penthouse level again. Oh, wow. You know, we like to look at penthouses. Okay, all right. It doesn't have parking. You're in Fide Eye, but you get an insane view out. In terms of carrying costs, I think you'll probably be closer to like 10, 11,000 a month for it. All right, that's so it's a little, a little less, better. You know? Yeah. And then you also have more money to spend on the renovation. You're able to make it exactly what you want it to be. I guess we'll see how much work needs to be put in, am I right? <laughs> Renting for so many years, it's just something that I would have never considered, you know? Yeah. Like you kind of get what you get and you don't get upset almost, like yeah, in the I renting mean, like, economy. But with owning, I guess you can really make those changes. I've gotten more calls this year, people asking me if they should be upgrading their rental. Like adding like doing buildings like, and whatnot? Yeah, like changing the cabinetry and like oh doing my. the floors. like. I'm, this is no lie. Like people have been asking me if they if like doing that is a good idea and like if they can get a rent decrease if they're like doing these upgrades. Oh, that's crazy! The first time I've ever heard people offer to pay to do upgrades to someone else's property, <laughs> and everybody out there watching, do not do that. <laughs> like you are only helping someone else make more money in the long run. I was gonna say because you're putting in all of that. Yeah. effort and work and for somebody else to sell it afterward or honestly when you move out they'll rent it for more money on your time <laughs> save the money and put it towards a down payment that's great advice you know yeah I mean? totally don't upgrade your rental we have moved beyond stick on tile you know? <laughs> yeah that's why you're gonna buy and then you can do whatever you want should i <laughs> that idea of like it always being temporary in a rental is such an easy mindset to fall into mm -hmm. and when you start to live like that, your house never really becomes yours because you're always like, well, I'm, I'm, you're always one foot in, one foot out. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Buying something, you're investing in it. So it's like, this is yours. Invest in the time, invest in the organizers, invest in the things that you want. I think that's also why there's a lot of pressure on this decision. If it was something that I were to own, it would be something that I, I can't necessarily just get out of, you know? Yeah. So I want to make sure that I'm choosing the right neighborhood, the right building, the right situation for me. Absolutely. Yeah, so the market right now has been very interesting. I have liked watching what's gone on in the last six months because in the last six months, it was dead. Like last fall leading into the winter, all of a sudden, mortgage rates are starting to stabilize. You're starting to see like a little more um, confidence in the market, but people are still a little scared, which is why I've been telling you like now is a good time to be looking. Deals are to be made when people are nervous. The $300,000 million market in Manhattan right now is on fire. Things are selling very quickly okay. if it's a good product. What's something you could get typically like a studio or like a one bed kind of in that I price point? I just did a one bedroom fully renovated in-house kitchen 475000 Oh my gosh yeah. that's amazing. It's a co-op but 
Co-ops are made for first-time home buyers. You know what I mean? Like, uh-huh. if you don't have millions of dollars to buy a condo, it makes sense to buy a co-op. There's nothing like, especially the smaller buildings. You're not dealing with like a bunch of old people that just can't stand it. It usually tends to be younger people that are just trying to get their foot into the New York City real estate. Mm-hmm. I was looking at something for a client that it was three hundred twenty-five thousand. Oh wow! You can spend a hundred thousand dollars, or you can spend five million dollars. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? And at every single price point, something will change. But there is something for everyone at the end of the day. And now I think rental prices in the city are getting so expensive that more people should be looking to see if that studio is only three hundred thousand. What do you have to put down for that? Can you make that work? Because if you can, it's a great investment. Look at how the city has rebounded. Yeah, yeah. You know, there's there is always a belief in New York that it will come back. All right, I wanted you to see this apartment. It's in Friday, it's a little different. But I think there's opportunity. You have this mm-hmm. powder room. I always tell you, buy something with an extra. A powder room is an extra. It's a two bed, two it's and nice. a half bath. Your guests don't have to go into your bedrooms to use the bathroom. It definitely feels big again. Like Grand. we have, you know, big yeah. high ceilings. Is that what you would yeah, say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. foot ceilings, enormous closet. closet space. This kitchen, I think, definitely is usable space. Okay. The cabinets are big. You can do a lot mm-hmm. with them. I, I would change the color personally. I think. Again, this is definitely an investment. They're only asking a million seven four nine. Gotcha. So you know, it's it's good yeah. bones. I just feel it's a little dark. I think that's sure. what I would say. Like I feel like I would want to like lighten it, it up a little up. bit, just because. I mean, we do have these big windows here. You have this insane open view. I mean, in Fida, you're usually like trapped. You're so right. In all of the buildings, so to have this like really large openness is amazing. That terrace across that apartment was like twenty five million bucks. <gasps> no, and we really are like well located in terms of the stock exchanges right here there's yeah. a lot of shops and like we're right you know on broad street it's uh-huh. right around the corner from the wall street stock exchange it's crazy if you want to be in the heart of it all this is where i would live mm-hmm. it still feels quiet up here though yeah. really really pin drop yeah. quiet it's amazing this requires vision <laughs> but i think price this makes sense totally well yeah, yeah maybe you'd have a little bit more room to like yeah I, yeah to work you have more room to fix it up you're like five thousand less than the one in brooklyn and you have more to play with. So gotcha. you really can make this what you want it to be. Uh-huh. Which I love. Yeah, not a bad place to start. I mean, yeah. look how cool like these doors are and everything. Huge. I love that. Yeah, really heavy. I think that's cool. I yeah. like like a funky feature to an apartment. Like maybe you want this to be a beauty room right now, an office, a filming room. You don't need it to necessarily have like a big door to close off all the time. You can leave it open and really flow with the space. This would be great for an office. Like I can totally Absolutely. see putting like, I mean, you could do a couch, like a fold out couch, but then like a desk there. A full bath in here, really cute. Nice little shower. Yeah. Yeah, just your your basics, what you gotta do. All of this is how they built the building, mm. which just like cracks me up. I feel like we're in a restaurant or something. It does <laughs> feel like we're in some sort of lobby. Yeah, like, 100%, yeah. but again, opportunity, vision. Mm. It I will be beautiful. I could see it, and we have some nice closet space, which I like. Oh, that's nice. I feel like it's hard to get things with like the build yeah, things already. already have that all built in. Nice. Yeah, I feel like they tried to maximize the space with like the way that the doors are. And... Yeah, everything kind of like is sliding, moving around. Mm-hmm. Okay, so this is like the the first bedroom, and then yeah. we'll see the primary now. Yeah, we're we'll going to the primary. Cool. <laughs> I love this space in this apartment. Like something about this, like enormous separation before you hit the yeah. is so crazy. There's also, I feel like, a lot of potential with yeah. maybe like a little like table or something. Yeah. Like I feel like you can do things with it. There's a lot to do, I think, in this space that you can get creative with. Uh-huh, cool. Yeah. Oh, and then we have a yeah. whole like separate suite, basically. Yeah, exactly. Oh, love that. Whole suite, you have this enormous bedroom, and you don't have anyone looking in at you, which again, in Fight Eye is so hard to find. Yeah, it feels like we have a good view of the buildings, but not a view of people. Absolutely. Like, this is a, a real like New York City apartment. Yeah, you know? for sure. It's very right downtown. Uh huh. And it does feel massive. I have to say. I mean, these are like big pieces of furniture, and like and it's huge. A king size bed. Like it just it it feels like if you maximize the space, you could put a ton in here. All right, this bathroom. I know you love a dual vanity. 
you've got it again. Oh, okay. Even at this price point, like it does look a little worn. Yeah, like it's for sure. definitely lived in. Buying resale is different than buying a new dev. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Because you do see the life. Totally. You see that someone that really did live here. I think like this gigantic tub is the craziest thing ever. Like I kind of love it. Yeah, no, it's really definitely huge, huge tubs anymore. But I think there's a way to do this. Like imagine a really beautiful wall and then a freestanding tub rather than something. Oh my gosh. Tub. You know what I mean? Yeah, this is definitely a project, like you said. Yeah, one hundred. And then you have this like enormous shower, which again, Oh yeah, yeah, like, yeah. The slate tile, everything. I do think top to bottom this is a project the price point allows it to be a project mm -hmm. and you could i guess kind of do whatever you want you really can, you can make this however you want it and then when you're ready to sell it it's not people aren't going to be ripping apart the, the counters you know what i mean yep. they're going to be excited to move back into it and i think it just takes a little vision but i think sometimes the apartments that you need a little more vision for are the best ones to buy i have to show you this i know you're gonna love this this is another bedroom yeah this is actually the third bedroom yeah, you're bedroom so right number three. yep Three bath, three bath. No, th this is incredible and I love that it's all done. I mean, I know that's really hard to find. I mean, we have like it's hanging okay. space. We have, oh my gosh, we've got drawers, like no dresser needed. I am a huge fan of this. I yeah. mean, no, who wouldn't amazing. be? And then you don't have to do any of the work. You just move. Yeah, you're you know so I mean? right. This is the one room you don't really have to touch. Oh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> Easy. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, the owners oh, did cool. a really nice job with all the build in, like all the built ins, everything. Yeah. Oh, hello, laundry. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, I mean, obviously, I have a lot of like books and like chopped yeah. and whatnot. So this is speaking to me. Yeah, a little book shopping. Off we go. Off we go to the next one. Your home is out there. I know, I feel really hopeful. Yeah, good. <laughs> I'm in good hands. Yes, no, you are in good hands, I promise. We are going to find you exactly what you want. Okay, amazing. So Yay, good to see thank you. you. Of course. Okay. I'll see you soon. Let me know what other types of videos you guys want to see and subscribe, and I love you guys. Bye. <laughs>